Caleb Pearson here with Remax in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I've gotten the question a lot here lately of um, why buy now versus waiting a year um, to build up to build up some savings or maybe let your house appreciate a little bit before you go ahead and make the jump and make that move, whether buying up or buying or buying something to lower your monthly payment. Um, let's say this is your dream home. Your dream home today costs three hundred thousand dollars. Next year, if homes appreciate by five percent, that puts that house next year at three hundred fifteen thousand dollars. So a $15,000 jump in what your dream home would cost this year versus next year. Let's say that you're, let's talk about affordability and your income stays, stays the same. And your absolute max purchase power, meaning the most you can, send, the most you can spend next year, is, or this year is $300,000, okay? At a 4% interest rate, that gets you your dream home. Let's say interest rates jump next year, which interest rates are projected to go up. Let's say they go up 1%. That puts that your purchase power at two hundred seventy-eight thousand. So next year, if you were to wait, that three hundred thousand dollar dream house that you want, it's going to cost three hundred fifteen thousand when you can only afford two hundred seventy-eight thousand, which is a much smaller home. You see the gap there? That's a thirty-seven thousand dollar difference with interest rates going up and houses appreciating. So that's a good illustration of um, why you should go ahead and buy now.